Good day, Hudson Valley. I'm your host, Lisa Caslin, and welcome to our show where we bring you the best of what's happening and who's happening in Putnam, Westchester, and Dutchess County. We're on site continuing our On the Road series on the arts, and we're visiting with the Front Street Gallery today. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, we're here at the Front Street Gallery with Jeremy Wolf, the owner, and also a local artist from Brewster, Sherry, Shirley Dow. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for your time today. Nice to be here. I, I want to start with you, Jeremy. Um, I understand this is the fifth anniversary of the Front Street Gallery. Is that true? Um, pretty much. Uh, coming up, I think, in April was when we first opened. Great. With, uh, at that time, there were four artists who started the gallery. Uh huh. So tell me a little bit about the type of art that you're exhibiting here, and then maybe we can talk a little bit about the current exhibit, Red. Um, you know, we don't have a cert we don't have a particular style. Like people ask this question: Do you show contemporary? Do you show uh -huh. Hudson Valley art? You know, I mean, we've we've uh, done all sorts of of styles of art, photography, uh, sculpture. Um, I think when we originally opened, because three of the artists were oil painters, there was more um, more oriented towards painting. Uh -huh. Two of them were kind of classic. Hudson Valley style of oil painting. Uh -huh. um, I'm a photographer, and uh, so uh, so we had some photography, but but it was more painting oriented. Um, but we we show what whatever is around and whatever we really love, and there's a lot of really great art around, and um, we get the chance to see uh, who comes through the door and who brings stuff in. And we are, we get to be surprised by the the art that's yeah. out there, and we don't, you know, we only, you know, when I say we, I mean uh, Jeanette Jeanette Rodriguez and I, who Jeanette's done a lot of the uh, curating, and uh, you know, stuff that we agree that we we both like, but we don't have a a set uh, niche. Yeah, well, I think that's that's great. I mean, we we decided to do uh, an Arts on the Road series just for that reason because mm -hmm. there's there's so many wonderful, talented artists in the area, and I think we don't you know cast a light on them enough. So we really applaud what you're doing here, and uh, we're hoping that people will take notice and and come by and avail themselves of of the beautiful work that you're showing here. So I wanted to give Shelley an opportunity just to to talk a little bit about how you got involved. I know that this is sort of changed your trajectory as an artist, right? You have a day job, but you have a passion for art, and you're exhibiting at this show now, right? Yes, uh, I, th the work that I do, I've, I've sh been showing here, I guess, for, well, over a year now, and um, uh, it's just by chance I came to an opening here and mentioned to you know Jerry Horn, Jeremy, I'm kind of an artist too, and he invited me to uh, submit something for one of the invitational shows. Uh -huh. And I kind of made a commitment to myself that I would do work for the show, that I would never pull anything out of the closet to show here, that I'd always try to bring something new and something that I hadn't done before. And, um, and I've gotten a tremendous amount of guidance for things like framing and all kinds of stuff that, that I don't... I don't usually spend a lot of time thinking about, so it's definitely been a very exciting, positive change for me to be involved with this gallery. And you just sold a piece, right? Yes, you be. Congratulations. <laughs> and she sells work pretty regularly here, that's why we like to have it. <laughs> and um, Shelley is very modest. Um, everything that we see of hers, we we love and we're surprised by what she can do. We haven't seen anything she can't do. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when we have a show coming up, Shelley will say, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with something and she'll send a little email of a sketch and we're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, well, and, that's very and, flattering. Uh, you know, she, she will sell her sketch and she'll sell, sell the finished thing. Yeah. Um, so I mean, Shelley, Shelley is typical of um, the kind of person who you wouldn't, you know, when, when I started this, I didn't, uh, when I was involved with this group, I didn't have, I was recently moved up here full time. I mm -hmm. didn't really have any sense of an art community. And you, and I did have a sense, you know, like more in the Hudson River towns, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Beacon and, yeah. and Woodstock, you know, that you hear that there's an art scene and you don't really, I didn't have a sense that there were artists here, but they really came uh -huh. out of the woodwork and come through the door 
here and uh, it's been a, a new community for us and my family not just as artists but as as friends and people that you uh, connect with yeah I, I really like that that aspect and so tell us a little bit about how and I know community is really important um, and you're doing things here and there uh, to bring families together uh, maybe it's an art class uh, or a reading or something to that effect. So should folks who want to get more involved, maybe get their children involved, maybe check your website out or... Yeah, I mean, the, the website is uh, frontstreetgallery.org mm -hmm. or if you go to Facebook, well, we have a Facebook group that you have to ask to join. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't understand all the workings of Facebook, but um, you, can, you can always email us or search for Front Street Gallery on Facebook and sooner or later you find us without much trouble. But that's really the best way to stay in touch with us and to stay in touch with what's going on. Um, in the past, we, ha we have had uh, musical events here, which uh -huh. we call Family Music Night mm -hmm. because, you know, I want my kids there and I want other kids to be there so my kids will want to be there. Yeah. And uh, we, want, we, we like the idea of it being family friendly and we've, we've always said that because, uh, you know, people, you know, I, I like the idea of kids running around at the openings um, in the in the nicer weather, <laughs> which yeah. is coming around soon. You know, there's a beautiful backyard, and we have it set up tables out, outside, so it's a really nice uh, space for 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 lots of different events. We had um, the family the light writing workshop. I came to that. Yeah, we had oh, that we was had uh, this amazing yeah. light writing workshop where you, it was done in the dark, and you oh wow you, you write with lights, and then you get to see the picture that it made. But we're, you know, we're, we're, we're wide open to people who have ideas like that. We had a, a benefit for a local politician uh -huh. here. Um, there was a, an art marketing salon uh, where a woman came in and talked to a group of artists about ways to, to market Talk your to work. Um, Great. So we're, we're open to ideas like that. But, but, and we've also pretty regularly had, had art classes. Uh, Jeanette uh, teaches uh, jewelry making, uh -huh. um, and we've had regular watercolor classes. Wonderful. And uh, I just found out just now that the restaurant is going to reopen. So, Yay. so uh, <laughs> next door, which is nice, um, it, it makes for a really good uh, connection. Yeah, dynamic, we, we've started sure. doing openings during the day, like uh, brunch openings, which which is really nice for people to go back and forth between art and, and food good, good, <laughs> and good. coffee. I love that. Um, and we've had like children's classes mm -hmm. here where the parents can drop the kids off and go have a nice brunch while the kids take, a, take an art class. So yeah. people, that's the kind of thing to stay in touch with the gallery that's about. That's super. Now, I know we're going to talk to another couple of artists that were participating in, in the Red exhibit, but right. before we bridge to that, uh, I wanted you to talk a little bit about the um, the, the exhibition that's coming up in April. Mm -hmm. That's the result of your third annual jury show. Right. Can you talk a little bit well, about we, that? Well, we we've had uh, three three juried shows, which mm -hmm. is where we do an open call to artists, and there's an entry fee involved, mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of I mean it's strange in the art world to have a contest and a winner, but that's really basically what it is. Mm -hmm. And we we have a big group show and. We choose a winner and a runner, runner up, um, and they win a, a, a solo show here. Um, we have a big enough space to, to show two people very comfortably. Mm -hmm. And it's also really fun when you have two artists to, when you arrange the work, to uh, have them play off each other. And that's something that, that Jeanette has gotten so good at. And it really, I mean, that's what's what's fun about getting these group shows is is like the puzzle of putting works yeah, together that that highlight you. them. And you know, there will be a painting that when it's sitting on the floor, and we're trying to figure out, you know, it doesn't look that great, but when you put it next to something else, something 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 happens. Anyway, but so the the next juried show was won by by two women, yep. uh, Heather Lenz mm -hmm. and and Marianne Glass. Um, Heather lives in in the woods in central Massachusetts and Marianne Glass uh, uh, lives in Beacon and owns the River Winds Gallery. Oh, okay. And uh, Heather is an oil painter and Marianne Glass is a photographer who uses an iPhone for a lot of her work. So completely different uh, approaches yes, to art, but you know, it's fun to find what they have in common and it'll be really fun to, to we're in the, right now in the process of selecting their artwork. So that show opens, uh, April 12th, this is a Sunday brunch time, so uh -huh. it'll be like 10, 10 to 2. 
uh, and the name on of Sunday. The, what, are, what are we calling the exhibit? The sh it's called uh, Transparency and Transformation mm -hmm. um, because the idea of layers and surfaces uh, comes through in both both of their work. And I think we're going to show a couple of uh, images. Yeah, you know, from, show from you some the of their work. Yeah. from the photographer and from the uh, the painter. Well, thank you, thank you so much. This has been wonderful. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, we're still here at the Front Street Gallery, and I am joined by two local artists who are part of the Red Exhibit that is occurring here now. Uh, we have Joanne Zwalski, welcome, welcome, and we have James you. Sedalter. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I wanted to just get a little bit of insight from the both of you. I want to know, uh, you know, how you sort of got started. How did you get involved with the gallery? I know a little bit about you because I read a story about you oh, recently. Yes, yes. And I know that red is definitely your favorite color, so it made Absolutely. sense for you to be part of this show. I, I was so thrilled to be part of the <laughs> show. I, I, I jumped up and down when I got accepted. I have done a series of red uh, work for many years, and it's evolving. I do other kind of work too, but red is something that brings joy and happiness to me. I Just agree. Just seeing it. So to be in this show, Mm -hmm. is a thrill. Wonderful. So I understand that you, were you an art teacher? Yes, at the yes, School? yes. Okay. I was an art teacher for over 36 years. 34 of those years were with Lakeland Central School System and I've taught uh, from grades K through 12 over uh -huh. a period of time. Uh -huh. um, and as I said, my uh, students have taught me well. Oh good. You know, I, I just, I had the best students in the world. They were um, just a joy absolute joy and I enjoyed every moment of teaching um, and now I'm able to uh, dedicate my life to my art. That's wonderful. So how long, was this the first show here at the Front Street Gallery that you participated in? That I've been um, being able to show here, yes. Okay, yes. wonderful. Um, when I got notification of the show, um, the Front Street Gallery had sent me notification and I said, oh, that's my show. And then during the day, all my friends said, you got to enter the show, you got to enter my whole, I had saved the page of my emails because it said, enter the show, enter the show. <laughs> it so it was, it, and it's just such a thrill. I'm in a show right now. And yeah. I did say to them, what do you, you want to know what it's called? They say, yes. And I said, red. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are, Drew. <laughs> Good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jane, tell me a little bit about your involvement here at the, at the gallery. Well, this is the, uh, my f first time to have an opportunity to show here, and I'm just absolutely delighted because it has opened me up to find, a, find this community uh -huh. uh, of other artists that I had no idea well, existed. Well, I know you're from Cold Spring, right? I'm from Cold Spring, which is another community that is just rich. Blooming with rich artists. Rich with yeah. artists. We, we have we've gone from one to three galleries in in the town in the last two years. So I've been getting to know more and more artists there uh -huh. in, in that part of the Hudson Valley. And it's been very exciting, it's been very stimulating to, to be in a, have a community of art, artist friends and, and mentors. Um, but this is a whole other area of Putnam and it's, it's like finding another piece of a gold mine. Yeah, and connecting the west side of the county yeah. to the east side of the county, which we have to do more of. Yeah, but it's true because um, when we think Hudson Valley, uh, often it's it's the river towns. It is. So now there's this whole other area that is just just rich with art and talent, and I'm, I'm just got my foot in the water, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity. Well, we're delighted to have you here. So I want to ask. We're going to show uh, an image of each of the works that you have represented here uh, for this show, and I was just hoping maybe you could talk a little bit about the actual painting that is here now? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> um, I'm a photographer. Okay. So uh, my piece in the, sh in the Red Show is, is a photograph and it's, a, it's actually a, a real close-up of a tiny little logo that is on a, a big piece of construction machinery. Okay. I, I like to do, I tend to do macro photography, which means I, ah. I can get up very close, you know, within a couple of inches of whatever I, I'm looking at and find details in it or a new story in it or an abstract form that, that pops out because I've eliminated, by getting so close, eliminated everything real. Mm -hmm. In the case of this photograph, um, it, it, in actuality, it's, it's, it's a, 
a, a logo for a company and it, it's, it's worn from being outside and mm -hmm. working all these years. But when I got close up, it, it became a giant flag that, mm -hmm. that looks like it's dis distressed and tired and corrupted. And it developed a whole emotional statement in and of itself mm -hmm. rather than an advertisement for a company. Yeah, beautiful. And that, that's what, what the picture is of. Thank you. So, Joanne, tell me about the, the piece that you have here. Um, <clears throat> my piece is an acrylic painting. Uh -huh. And um, my work is uh, nature inspired. Um, this piece, um, most of my work is, as I said, nature inspired. I'm very interested in contrast in nature. Um, and um, I do, I paint on location. Um, I paint with a group of artists that go down to the Hudson River and paint also. But when I do that, I paint uh, watercolor mm -hmm. studies. I bring them back to the studio and they become part of me. And then I interpret them using my favorite color of red. Mm -hmm. And I try to show uh, contrasts uh, within the natural scene that I have seen and that I have experienced. Um, and then, uh, but um, a lot of times the uh, painting will uh, sort of uh, change a little bit because it starts to speak to me in new ways. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my intuition takes place with it. Uh, these paintings take a, a, a period of time, several months to do, because there are several, several layers of paint on them. Um, and uh, so um, this painting is called um, Cool Heat, mm -hmm. Contrasts. And um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Well, a lot of fun. Beautiful, both it's of part you. of a series, as I said. Well, thank you. Thank so you. before we finish, just tell us quickly where else we can see your work over the next few months or to the end of the year. Both of you. Me first? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to be having a uh, group show with other artists at uh, the Beacon Artists Union in Beacon, New York. Mm -hmm. And that show is following to... Um, Henry Hudson Library, um, going on to Mayapak and going on to Ridgefield. Um, it is the show, the show is called Iterations. Mm -hmm. A group of us have come together and we have done a collaboration where we have built on each other's artwork. Um, a lot of fun. The whole emphasis is on the process of art, mm -hmm. but we do have the finished product. Mm -hmm. And if you come to the show, you get to see the process. Wonderful. I also currently have a, my artwork in. Um, uh, the Putnam Arts Council member show right now. Wonderful, congratulations. Thank you. Jane? Um, well, I have a couple of shows in April that I'm going to be a part of a group show. One of them is at the Theo Gans Gallery in Beacon, mm -hmm. and the other is up in Hudson at the Limner Gallery. And I'm going to, at the end of the year in December, I'll have a solo show at, at Gallery 66 in Cold Spring. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. I thank, really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, and until next time, have a great day, Hudson Valley. As, as always, you can come check us out at gooddayhudsonvalley.com. Give us your thoughts and suggestions for guests for the show. Thanks.